USB devices are pretty easy to use, you just plug them in and they always work, right? Well, that may not be the case for you. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video I'm talking about any USB device descriptor errors that you might see when using your USB devices in Windows 11. Now, the first thing that we're going to do to fix this is to update our USB host drivers. Now, to do them, to do that, just right click the start menu icon and head over to device manager. In here, we're going to scroll down until we see universal serial bus controllers. Double click to expand and uh, find your USB root hubs. So, I have, this is my root hub for USB 3 and this is my root hub for USB 4. Just right click and then click on update driver click on search automatically for drivers and windows will automatically find and install the best possible drivers for your device as you can see i already have the best uh, drivers that windows deem uh, are required for this to function and it is functioning properly if that does not solve your problem you can also try disabling power management for uh, your root hub so power management is when windows can turn off root hubs to save power but this might result in your usb devices not working properly to do this once again open up device manager find your uh, usb root hub right click it and this time go to properties then head over to power management and uncheck the allow the computer to turn off this device to save power option uh, if this option is enabled in your system just uncheck it go ahead and click ok Restart your PC and your device or your USB ports should start working fine. Next step, you can try disabling fast startup on your system. Now, fast startup can sometimes cause problems with ports on your system not working as intended because of the way it shuts down and restarts your system. So to do this, just open up the start menu and search for power options or power plan. And just click on right here now uh, in here click on power options in the top menu click on choose what closing the lid does and uh, you will see your system settings right here so click on change settings that are unavailable and then uncheck fast startup go ahead and click save changes and then restart your pc to hopefully get your usb ports back If that doesn't work either, it's a good idea to also check your system for any flaws. Now you can do this by pressing the Windows key and searching for command prompt and then we're going to run it as administrator, so we give it the permissions it needs. And now we're going to run two commands. The first one is sfc slash scan now. So this scans your windows uh, for any problems, any missing files and automatically downloads and gets them. And the second command is uh, check disk. So chkdsk, uh, then put your Windows drive. I have Windows in my C drive, so I'm going to use that. Then F and then R. So this recursively checks the file system of your entire C drive just to make sure that everything is in progress. And if both of these commands run fine, then uh, you can run an SFC, restart your system and get your USB ports working. Next up, a Windows update can also help mitigate the issue. Now to check for Windows updates, just press Windows key plus I to open Windows settings and head over to the Windows update section at the bottom. And then as you can see, my PC is up to date, but you can always check for updates manually by clicking the button. And if you see any updates pop up here, go ahead and install them. Uh, in some cases, they might help mitigate your USB port issues because Windows update also provides drivers uh, for Windows and its related components as well. Last but not least, if that doesn't work either, what you can do is reset your Windows uh, just to make sure that everything is set uh, to its default settings and Windows doesn't have any additional drivers or programs interfering with the device. To do this, press Windows key plus I to open Windows settings, head over to System, then go down to Activation, or sorry, Recovery. And in here, click on Reset this PC. So go ahead and click on Reset PC. And now you can choose to keep your files or delete them depending on uh, whether you want a fresh reinstall or you just want to make sure that Windows gets up and running. 
so you can try keeping your files but if that doesn't work you can go ahead and remove everything so you will have to take a backup before you do this because this will wipe your entire drive but uh, this should be the last hail mary effort you need to fix uh, the problem and if none of these things have fixed your problem then there is a good chance that you either have a busted usb port or a faulty motherboard in such cases take your computer or your laptop to a repair shop have a professional look at it and they'll be able to tell you what the exact problem is if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video